Nearly two and a half years later, hundreds of comments and many more replies. I need you guys to understand one thing. My most viewed video was resetting a 60% keyboard. There's a couple options with what you're dealing with. Say if you have no RGB, but you have keybinds. One, you shouldn't freak out because at least your keyboard's working. Totally get it if you bought an RGB keyboard and that's your main sole focus is to have a keyboard that lights up with pretty colors. Do the same thing I said in that video. Press and hold a long hold, your function button or FN key, and a long hold of your space bar. Do it for about three to five seconds. That should reset everything. Now, if the RGB still doesn't work after that, you probably just have a bad connection or a simple fried connection with the RGB to the chipset that's in it, the keyboard, or if you wanna say the motherboard of the keyboard, right? If you have RGB, but you don't have keybinds, here's a couple things. You probably need a new chipset because it's not gonna work. You could still try the whole function button and spacebar, guarantee you it's probably not gonna work. Now, RGB is completely separate from the actual key switches on the chipset. So, again, if the RGB works but the key switches do not, you most likely have a fried chipset and you need to just replace it. There, unless you're lucky enough to hit the function button and the space bar, but more than likely, you're probably going to have to replace it. And at that point, it's better off to just buy a whole new keyboard. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you get your things figured out because I'm probably gonna experience this for another four years.